Hello, and welcome to Suzanne Interviews Porn Stars. Today I'm here with... Bryn Michaels. Hi, Bryn. Hello. How long have you been making porn? Um, in the industry now, only about a year. Oh, okay. So you started like in the middle of the COVID craziness. I did. I did. Working from home. Mm -hmm. Where'd mm -hmm. you start camming? No, I started OnlyFans. Oh, okay. Well, I've been camming. I started camming when I was... 18 and got my first laptop i was like oh cool i can finally put my id into these websites so you've kind of just like escalated since then yeah but i've been doing mainstream for a year that's awesome yeah whole new world what do you like the most about it the people that you get to meet what do you like the least about it <laughs> if there's something you could change um I don't know. Well, the fact that it's in LA only. Mm. Okay, that's a big one. Okay. The that's fact fair. that it's only in LA and how you have to stay relevant. You're always chasing that relevancy. You can't just really. You can't. Yeah. You can't, can't relax. It's your own schedule, but it's mm -hmm. also like on the schedule of like people's attention span. Yeah. Well, because you're kind of like a brand. Yeah, you are. You're, you know, you're more than just you. Yeah, and you have to spend oh, so much time on your phone. Yeah. Oh. Do you get in trouble with like. The people you hang out with that you're on your phone too much? No, because everyone I hang out with is okay. in the industry. <laughs> and they're like, we all know if we're, yeah. it's nonstop work. Yeah. I don't think people understand how much more work it is. Like, yeah. you are doing your own marketing. You're doing most of your own accounting. You know, things, yeah. things that people don't take into consideration when it comes to the adult entertainment industry. Yeah, I mean, it's like any small, like, business. You like, are a small business. Yeah. Yeah. What do you do when you're not shooting? I hang out with my dog. What kind of dog? I have a Chihuahua. What's his name? Buckley. <gasps> oh. He's perfect. That's amazing. I love that. Yeah, we like to go to the dog parks in Brooklyn and like meet other pups. I love that. I love going out to eat. Do you That's... get recognized at the dog park? Uh, only when I run into Small Hands or Joanna <laughs> Angel. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but no, I no, I, I don't. I'm incognito. I'm in my PJs, mm -hmm. hair up. I got my mask on. Okay, so if you're at the dog park in Brooklyn and you see some crazy girl in PJs, it's her. <laughs> it's, it's me. <laughs> <laughs> what type of TV shows do you like to watch? Do you binge watch? Oh my God, I binge watch. I like... I like creepy stuff. I like crime stuff. I like ABC 2020. Oh. I'm watching The Dropout <gasps> on, that? on Hulu. Elizabeth, uh, Holmes? Elizabeth yes. Holmes. I love like I, a scam, scammer girls. Oh my God. The Anna Delvey. I'm show. in the middle of that right now. She's an icon, <laughs> a hero. I love her. <laughs> Um, and oh, what else? I'm watching The Girl from Plainville. Oh, Plain how is that? Field, Plainville. Yes. It's really good. The, the casting is great. So you're kind of like a true crime type of person. Yeah. Things that are real. Things that are real are, is better, but yeah. also like just things that are like dark, mm -hmm. like have some sort of like dark element. Okay. I like sci-fi stuff. Hey. Like Stephen King. Oh. Yeah. Um, do you believe in ghosts? I try not to think about it. Because <laughs> it's... Uh, I don't know what it would mean to believe in ghosts. That okay. I would believe... you never had an encounter or anything? No. Would oh. that mean that, like, it's just everyone who dies becomes a ghost? Or... I don't know. There are too That's many questions thing. along with it. Because I feel like most people think ghosts are, like, some scary entities, not, like, yeah. not like your your favorite uncle. You know what I mean? Like, no right. one's... You know what I mean? There's, all, there's that, like, sort of idea that ghosts are, like, not, like like sort of in purgatory and mm. are kind of like pissed off because yeah. they're like get me out of this, this but it's is so never annoying. like oh my my favorite old aunt died and she follows me around type thing it's always something yeah, that scary would be, that would be sick right that'd yeah. be nice like she points you in the right direction like more like a guardian angel than a ghost i guess all my dead animals <gasps> oh. that's all i want right if oh. i had one wish i would wish that my dog I no, not live forever, but that me and my dog die at the exact same moment. I feel the same exact way. <laughs> like that we just I'm like dying and the dog's like cool. Yeah, let's go together. Yeah. Mm, I love that. Um suicide pact with my dog. <laughs> <laughs> We're so dark. Um now I forgot what I was gonna ask you. Oh, last movie you saw. Last movie that I saw. Um Oh my god, I saw X. 
Oh, did you how see is that? it? No. Okay, it's so good. It's yeah. an A twenty four movie, but it's like it has a lot of elements of like Texas Chainsaw Massacre, and like it's got like some like Deep Throat vibes. Like what's her name, Lovelace? Mm-hmm. Um, they cast. And it's like a porn right, horror movie. Right, yeah, yeah. And the, the the woman that they cast is like the main like porn star who's trying to get famous is like all freckled. So it's like a, it's kind of a hinty little like oh. a nudge. And they say she has like the X factor. Like she has something kind of different about mm-hmm. her. And I'm like, no gag reflex. <laughs> is that what it is? Uh, but it was it was really good. Oh, I have to watch that. We yeah. watched Fresh. Have you seen that? No. It's Sebastian Stan. Okay. As like a cannibal love cannibalism it's, it's not any it wasn't the movie i thought it was gonna definitely it's marketed as horror mm-hmm. it's not okay it's not like gory or anything it's, even though he's a cannibal like yeah. i guess there's some gross parts but it's not gory okay but i highly recommend it because sebastian stan what's that other cannibal movie it's by the same person who did like God damn it, I wish I could remember the name of it. The cannibal movie? Yeah, it's a it's like an artsy film. Mm. Do you know? Put it in the comments if it's you like, know. It's like a one word, like, short, like... No, I'm not going to remember. <laughs> no, I'm not okay, remember. anyone watching this, if you know the movie, put it in the comments. It's on Netflix. It's on... Okay, you, you guys have to tell us. Yeah. Tell them how to follow you so they can message you what the movie is. <laughs> okay. Um, my Instagram is prom underscore underscore queef. <laughs> and you have to type the whole thing in because I'm deeply shadow banned. Oh, my gosh. And my Twitter is Bryn Michaels NY. And, and you I'll, also have to type the whole thing. I will paste those into the description so you can just copy and paste them to find her people are like you should change them to be the same and i'm like i've been prom queef since <laughs> i was in high school oh i'm that's a good one i'm the prom queef that's a good one go follow her right now bye hey it's suzanne thanks for watching this video make sure to like and subscribe to see more just like that one